Hey everybody, this is your coach Andrea Dickerson here with IOwnADaycare.com where we connect child care business owners with proven management solutions. For today's proven management solution, I want to talk to child care business owners who are ready to expand their business, take it to the next level, and are really seeking the next level of growth in their life and in their child care business. So if you're ready to grow your business, stay tuned because I'm going to share with you three key points that will put you on the track towards success. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll be right back. I already declared that we are anointed to do what? Six-figure contracts from one client. You work hard enough, you can get more than one six-figure client. And some of us is already said, I can't do that. So I want you to remember, keep that out the door. Turn to say, I do all things. I do all things. to hear my three key points on growing your child care business and taking it to the next level. I know exactly how you may be feeling right now. Several of you may see a, a huge waiting list of clients that are waiting to get into your child care. And then you have a team of people that show up every day, all time, like clockwork, so you don't have to show up every day. And you're saying to yourself, man, I know it's time for me to grow my business. How do I successfully grow my business? Well, I'm so glad that you asked. For those of you who are new to the I Own a Daycare brand, I'll tell you the honest to God truth. I've grown my business every three years with a new location. And I started back in 2004 when I was 21 years of age, no child care experience, no children of my own, never walked into a daycare, never worked in at a daycare, never had conversations about a child care program, didn't have to go pick up anybody from a child care program. So like, I guess you're wondering, where did you get this passion for child care from? Well, it came from divine inspiration and voila, I ended up in the child care industry and I have been committed to it all the way up until about 18 years. So I've been in the child care industry long enough to know exactly what to do to grow your business and take it to the next level. So there are some things that I want to clue you in on to make you know when you're ready for growth. The first thing is I want for you to prepare the infrastructure for growth in your business. I can tell you guys from the experience of owning and operating my own child care business that sometimes you just don't know what that infrastructure may be. Sometimes you just step out there and you open up your second location only to figure it out that, hey, this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Things just aren't running the way it should be or you're just dealing with a lot of different turmoils. Well, one thing I know about growth is that when you're experiencing a season of growth, it's going to be a season of up, down, twist, tur twirls. Nothing is going to be like a straight shot. So infrastructure is where you want to make sure you have your systems in place. You want to make sure that you have your team in place because I know what it's like to build a large corporation and not have the right team members in place and then it all comes crumbling down. I also know that if you have the right infrastructure in place, then it will give you, which is my key point number two, 
It will give you the structure that you need to continually train your leadership team. It's so important that you are in the eyes and in the ears of your leadership team. I know that from firsthand experience because you're no greater than the team of people you surround yourself with. It doesn't matter their early childhood education. It doesn't matter how well they operate in the classrooms, how well they can get individuals enrolled into your program. What matters is your vision. What matters is the time that they spend with you. And so you want to always, and I tell you guys the truth, always train your people, no matter how well you feel that they are equipped, no matter how well they're doing when they're job no matter what's going on you want to set aside time once a month at least to train your leadership team to let them hear your vision hear from you understand where they are and constantly evaluate where they are so they can get to where you need them to be i know from experience that when you're growing your business you as the owner and director whatever role you're in you're gonna definitely have to put time into your team Here's the third key point. Maintain your leadership role. I can tell you guys the truth that sometimes I am emotionally disconnected from my business. I'm tired. I got so much going on. Or I get to the point where it's just overwhelming. So I emotionally detach myself. And I want to encourage you today to find balance between your life and your child care business. The reason why balance is important is because you can't grow what you cannot maintain. So if you are at where you're just tired, you're frustrated, you're ready to give it up, that means you need a time away from your child care business so that you can rejuvenate, re-equip yourself and get back out in the game. So you got to maintain your leadership position. And as a leader, I know that you are carrying the weight of everything, even the vision, the people, the finances, the enrollment, the locations, the maintenance, you're carrying a lot. Okay. So at this point, you want to definitely get to the place where you are strengthening yourself where you are strengthening yourself, where you are strengthening yourself. So why am I saying that three times? Because that's hard for child care business owners to do. We keep going and going and going, not recognizing the fact that, the fact that we aren't growing because we constantly are going, okay? So you got to maintain your leadership position by strengthening yourself. So what I want to do is I want to encourage you to write down the infrastructure of your business. Ask yourself, is my business strong enough to have me absent for one year and not have to walk back in my business? If you cannot say that, then you have to go back, look at your systems, look at your training programs, and look at the people that you have supporting you. It's so important that you think long-term when it comes to your child care business and not just day-to-day -day and month-to-month. Then I want you to start looking at who are the people that I need on my team to help me take my business to the next level. Growth is important, but you must be ready to win. What happens in your business if you could fill the full waiting list? You know that long list of children that you have waiting for you? What would change in your business? What would change about your day? What would change about your operations? What would change if you doubled your capacity or built door into your facility or opened up another child care center in another state think about infrastructure as you think about those questions and i tell you what you will avoid a lot of mistakes that your coach made but i'm so thankful that i made those mistakes because now i you wisdom knowledge and understanding on how to avoid those mistakes that come along with growth well all right this is your coach andrea dickerson here with i on a daycare.com if you manage the child care business that you love you will love the child care business that you manage. Bye, you guys.